morning. This is the Book of Alma. It's the account of Alma, which is the son of Alma. I think that was the new convert. Came to pass that the first year of the reign of judges over the people of Nephi, King Mosiah, having gone the way of the earth and warred a good warfare and walked uprightly, uprightly, left none to reign in his stead, did establish laws. came to pass in the first year of the reign of Alma in the judgment seat there was a man brought before him he was large and strong he was preaching that the priests should not labor with their hands but to become popular and let the people support them he preached that all mankind was going to be saved at the last day and to not fear saying the Lord created all men, he will redeem all men. He taught this so much, many believed on his words and begun to support him. He was lifted up in pride, wearing costly apparel, even began to establish a church after his nonsense. As he was going along, he met a man of the church of God, even a teacher, began to contend. They began to contend, but the man withstood him, admonishing him with the words of God. Now, the name of the man was Gideon. And it was he who was an instrument in the hand of God in delivering the people of Lehi out of the bondage because Gideon withstood him with the words of God. He was wroth. He drew his sword and began to smite him. Gideon was old and he was not able to withstand the blows and Gideon was slain by the sword of this man preaching that the priest should not work. Dash 10. The man who slew him was taken by the people of the church and brought before Alma to be judged according to the crime. There was a victim, Gideon. He stood before Alma and pleaded with much boldness. But Alma said to him, This is the first time priestcraft has been introduced among the people. Thou art guilty of priestcraft, but also has endeavored to enforce it by the sword. If priestcraft were to be enforced among this people, it would prove their entire destruction. Thou hast shed the blood of a righteous man. Yeah, a man who has done much good among the people. If I were to spare you, his blood would come upon us for vengeance. Therefore thou art condemned to die, according to the law given by Mosiah, our last king. The people agreed this was what they wanted done. The people must abide by the law. They took him. His name was Nehor. They carried him to the top of the hill of Manti. There he acknowledged was cause to acknowledge between the heavens and the earth. And what he taught was contrary to the word of God. He suffered an ignominious death. Nevertheless, his death did not put an end to the spreading of priestcraft throughout the land. There were many who loved the vain things of the world. They were forth preaching false doctrines for the sake of riches and honor. But they didn't lie for fear of the law. They preached half-truths, not the whole story. Liars were punished. Therefore, they pretended to preach according to their belief. And the law had no power on any man for his belief. They did not steal for fear of the law, for such were punished. Neither durst they rob nor murder. For he that murdered was punished unto death. It came to pass that whoever did not belong to the church of God began to persecute the church members, those who had taken upon them the name of Christ. They afflicted them with all manner of words, and because of the humility, they were, were not proud in their own eyes, because they did not impart the word of God with one another with money and without price. And because of the humility... They were not proud in their own eyes, because they did not they, because they did impart the word of God with one another without money. Yeah, without yeah, the word of God. The word of God is free. Right, without praise. Uh, whosoever something I can't say that. Alright, at 20, 21, there was a strict law among the church people that they should not persecute the unbelievers, nor persecute or any persecution amongst themselves. Nevertheless, many began to be proud and began to contend warmly with their adversaries. Even unto the blows, they would smite one another with their fists. 
Fight Club. Now, this was in the second year of the reign of Alma, and it was the cause of much affliction. Hospital visits. It was the cause of much trial. Courts. For the hearts of many were hardened, and their names blotted out. They were remembered no more among the people of God. Many withdrew themselves. This was a great trial to those that did stand fast in the faith. Nevertheless, they were steadfast and immovable in keeping the commands of God. They bore with patience the persecution heaped upon them. When the priests left labor to impart the word of God, the people left their labor to hear the word of God. After they all returned diligently to the Lord, the priest did not esteem himself above them. They were all brothers and sisters. They learned together, teacher and learner. Thus they were all equal. They all labored. They all imparted of their substance, every man according to what he had, to the poor and needy, to the sick and afflicted. They did not wear costly apparel, yet they were neat and comely. They did establish the affairs of the church. They began to have continual peace with their per persecutions. Because of the steadiness of the church, they began to be exceedingly rich, abundant of all things, flocks, herds, grain, silver, gold, precious things, silk, fine linen. In their prosperous circumstances, they did not turn away any who were naked, hungry, or thirst, or sick, or not nourished. They were liberal to all, old and young, bond and free, male and female, in the church or out of the church, having no respect of persons to those in need. Thus they did prosper, becoming far more wealthy than those who did not belong to the church, because those on the outside of the church indulged themselves in sorceries, idolatry, idleness, babblings, envy, strife, wearing of costly apparel, lifting up in pride, persecutions, lying, thievings, robbings, whoredoms, murderings, and all manner of wickedness. As much as possible, the laws put forth put in force upon all who transgress it. By exercising the laws upon them, every man suffered according to that which he had done. They did become more still, committed no more wickedness. There was much peace among the people of Nephi until the fifth year of the reign of Judges.